Okay, today we've got the Janome HD 1000 and I've got my top stitching uh, industrial thread in it uh, to hem a pair of Levi jeans. So I'm going to stick with the Levi's that I've been using on all the other machines on my channel so we can compare. Um, this foot doesn't have the leveler on it, so I'm going to use the Genoma jig, which is what you would need to do with this machine, uh, something to keep the foot level. Uh, so the stitches form properly and let's see we're going to start out on the inside leg seam here so this one's had a three test done on it so this will be the fourth one so I'm going to sew in an area that hasn't been sewn but I'm going to be a little bit more on the outside on this test so put that under the foot and let's see turn our tension up to see this goes to nine so I'll turn it up to eight this requires fairly that tension on a straight stitch on a stitch length of 3.5 hold my thread tails here and let's see how it does oh and I've got a size 16 smash denim needle in it it's coming off so I'll move this around to the front and now we're all the way off Pretty smooth little machine. And we have a second side seam, which is a serge seam, which is never as thick. It goes right over it. Go ahead and cut my threads. Could have done this a little bit quicker. And get to it. There we go. And we're about to go up on that side seam again, so I'll use the uh, Genoma jig to help it out. Now let's see what it does on its own. It did pretty good. The problem that you'll run into on these, um, without the leveler foot on it, they have trouble feeding. And I saw it, it's stuck right there basically. So when you level it, it can feed properly and then, then it can take off. So. Um, let me back stitch here. Oops, move that back over. Go ahead and put this on here so I can level it off. But you need to keep them level, otherwise uh, they have trouble. You can hear it running. That's really thick right there uh, on the side seam. That's the flat felt side seam on the jeans. So that's the thickest part. So all right, let's go ahead and uh, take it out here and. Have a look. Yeah, and you see that loop of thread right there? That's what happens when the foot's not level. So I did that to show you kind of what would go on. If you keep the foot level before you hit it, it won't do that. But that's the problem you're going to have. Uh, it's kind of hard to believe that didn't use, I mean, that it didn't include one of those leveling foots uh, on this machine since it's labeled as heavy duty. Uh, you would think they would, but okay. I don't have much of any place to push the machine. Let's do that. Look at our seam here. That's bunched up from where we didn't level the foot coming back over it the second time. But this outer one right here is our stitch. Stitch looks good on the underside. Looks good on the top. That's our stitch on the outside right there. I don't see any skip stitches, which is good. I didn't stay perfectly straight. That's from the previous. Yeah, okay, it looks good. So, again, this is called a Genoma jig, but you can use fabric, you can use anything to keep that foot level. Uh, just keep it level. Uh, when you go under the foot and uh, you won't have any problems uh, with the machine. So anyway, it says heavy duty and uh, this is my heavy duty test. So if you're looking at this machine, considering it, uh, you kind of see what I did here. Um, this is the probably the thickest um, jean side hem you're going to see, these old Levi's. I mean, that, that thing is dense and it's very hard. So. I figure if it can do that, it can do just about any of the modern machines that are a lot of weight denim with some, a lot of them have some lacquer in them for a little bit of stretch and they're very soft. 
uh, it wouldn't have any problem at all with those machines. So um, I tell you what, let me do one other thing. Let me get some home deck fabric. I've done that on some tests. Let's see how it does some home deck. That way, if it's something you're considering, you'll see how it does on it. So let me go get that. I'll be right back. Okay, I've rethreaded the machine with some heavyweight uh, white thread, and this is this was a Roman shade, and so we've got a double fold. So there's two, four, six layers starting right there uh, on the side seam, and uh, this is the bottom hem area. And let me see if I've got a header on this. No, I don't. This was just a test one, so I only did the, the top. Anyway, so we're going to start out on that. That's good, dense uh, home deck fabric, and uh, then I'll come back down to four layers. So we're going to go six and four. We have a double fold going on on here, and this one up here, including the top one, ends up with six layers. So I found that's a good test for these machines to see if they'll do... Uh, Fairly heavyweight home deck fabric. It's not the heaviest, but uh, it's it's fairly dense, as you can see. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. I put a size 14 universal needle on it, and I always start smaller. And if that doesn't work, I'll go up to a 16 or even an 18 if I have to. But you're kind of battling density with a thinner needle. Uh, if it can withhold it, it goes through easier than something thicker going through it. Uh, it takes more power to push it through it. Uh, so. Uh, try a smaller one first and then we'll go up to a bigger one if we have any problems. So here we go. Got a straight stitch. Stitch length is three. I turn my tension back down to a little over six and here we go. Yeah, it seems to be handling that fine. We're going to come off this side seam from six layers down to four layers. Tension. Looks good. So here we go. That's good enough for us to look at our stitch. Alrighty. Let's see what we've got here. There's the back side. It's nice and clean and straight. And there's the front side. It's also nice and clean. Transition right there is where the transition took place from the six layers down to four. And I'm compressing both of them so hopefully you can kind of see there's a drop off there. No skip stitches. Uh, stitches look very regular. So looks good. Alright, that's it. That shows you home deck, shows you jeans, and uh, again, this is the Janome HD 1000 machine. Uh, overall, impression is it's a good little machine, so for the money, I think, uh, you know, for a mechanical machine, uh, it'd be probably a good investment. Uh, I still, I mean, it's good. The Singer Heavy Duty uh, impresses me a little bit more, uh, but if you're a Janome fan, you can't beat the quality of their machines. And I know Singer's taken a beating over the last few years on their quality and stuff. So uh, anyway, if you're a Janome fan and you're looking at this machine, uh, hopefully this will help you out if you're considering purchasing. That's it for now. Take care.